Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a deck review and a walkthrough today for this wonderful deck that I was recently sent by Rockpool Publishing. And as you can see, this is the Moon Goddess Oracle by Nikki Garekawa, illustrated by Olivia Berkey. It comes in this wonderful box. I have to say it feels really lovely to touch. Now I must show you inside as well. This wonderful moon design in there. And I love the moon, the touch of the moon design around the edge of the box. It's really, you know, well thought through, I think, in the design. Um, and it says, ignite your sacred power with this potent oracle. As you can see, it's produced by Rockpool Publishing. So we'll leave that there. And it comes with um, a guidebook, obviously the same illustration as the box. Let's just have a little look through. So we've got the contents page, obviously all the cards are listed there. Um, the page numbers, an introduction. Um, I'll read you a little bit. It says, imagine a sacred portal of light is opening wide and vast. It is filled with a gentle and radiant light that flows down onto and through your body right now as you breathe. This portal is connecting you to the wisdom, the power, the cycles and the sacred feminine potency that flows to you from the moon. It is moonbeams of love and insight that flow freely and deeply to you. I love that, the moonbeams of love. Beautiful. So then it's, it shows you how to use the cards. Um, a ritual for connecting with your cards, which could be useful. And then um, there are some card spreads throughout. Now, quite a lot of decks have this at the beginning in the books, um, as you may know. But I've noticed there are quite a few in here, like the Moon Goddess spread, Phases of the Moon spread, the Four Elements spread, Venus sensuality spread, um, diamonds and sparkles spread, quite a few. So um, because of that, I thought I'd do a bonus spread at the end of this walkthrough, um, if you're interested in seeing that as well. And then obviously you can see the cards in action that way. So I thought that would be nice to do. And then obviously you've got the cards, seasons and they go in order of the numbers so one is spring spirit and um, there's a color illustration of the card and then there are a few things here for each card we've got medicines um, and it, it gives you some key words there like new beginnings transformation deep gratitude for life's abundance and then it's got plant medicines, edible flowers, marigolds, colours, yellow, pink, crystals, a citrine and rose quartz, and favourite moon phase, the new moon. And then there's a little bit about the card, and there's a mantra at the end, which is quite nice, quite positive. This one says, I am learning to see and value the vast support I have in my life today. So then obviously it just goes through with each card, which you can find in the book. Um, and then at the back, just sort of show you, there's a photo of the author, about the author, um, Nikki, there, first of all. Um, it says, Nikki's the author of the much loved Moon Goddess Diaries. Now you may have seen, I recently did a review on her 2024 Moon Goddess Diary, which is wonderful as well. And it has quite a few of the images from this deck in that diary actually. So check that one out if you're interested in that as well. 
Then we've got the illustrator, Olivia Berkey, um, a Swiss freelance illustrator who lives in sunny Spain. And then, yeah, here are, here are the diaries, um, the Moon Goddess diaries that are published annually. So that's really lovely. Um, and here are the cards. As you can see, the back is just beautiful, I think. The colour, I really think the colours work well with the dark background and then obviously the moon, the eye, and it's like um, a mandala around the eye. They've also got gold gilded edges, which is a really lovely touch, and that just really matches, doesn't it? The, the colour of the card, nice contrast, I believe. So let's have a look then through the cards together. So as you can see, there's a number at the top and then we've got Spring Spirit and there's a keyword there, Gratitude. And that's a really lovely spring image, isn't it, with the butterflies. I must say also what I really love about these cards is the way the writing's at the top and it's like it's sort of framed there. It's almost like the bottom of the moon, actually. I wonder if that was their intention. But you know, some decks it's at the bottom, um, whereas I think that really works. Having the words there, it's not too intrusive either. There's no border. The card stock is really lovely as well, by the way, really nice. It's not too thin, um, but it's sturdy. Also, the cards weren't stuck together like they are with some decks when I opened it, so that's really nice as well. You can use them pretty much straight away. So number two is Summer Spirit. That's a really lovely image as well. I like the colour contrast. Autumn Spirit, Letting Go. Winter Spirit, Rest. Five is Sacred Ritual. Really nice autumn colours in that one. We've got number six, New Moon. Number seven, Waxing Moon, Flow. Number eight, Full Moon. And then this number nine, Waning Moon, Finding Your Light. Really love that one, like the healing beams of the sun. And then there's a contrast there with Dark Moon. Eclipse. Moon Dust Magic, the message is Look Within. Now I love this one. A real spring feel to it, joy. Um, and this is one of the moon goddesses, Aine. So then we've got Anahita, Confidence. Archangel Haniel. Uh, Ariane Rod, Change. Beautiful with the, the wolf and the owl for wisdom. Chang O oh Love. Now I remember this one from the diary, uh, see if I can say it. Koyal Shalki, I think that's right. <laughs> Beautiful image though, isn't it? Very vibrant colours as you can see in this deck that I really love. And then we've got Divana Protection with a wolf. Dewi Ratti, again I love this with the pink and purple, my favourite colours. We've got Freya Empowerment. Halia Strength, this is one of my favourite images as well actually with the moon there. Um, she's just bathing under the moonlight, wonderful. We've got 
Hecate Magic. Uh, this one's Hina Hine. Hope I said that correctly. I love the sense of peace in this one. The water for healing. Now this is another one of my favourites, Ishtar Sensuality. I just love the strength in the pose and the lion there as well. Beautiful. Isis Healing. Um, this one I can't really pronounce. Ix Chell. <laughs> That's what I can say, um, creativity for that one. It's a bit like the star card, the way she's pouring the water there for healing. And the snake, the symbol of um, rebirth, shedding the old. Kuan Yin forgiveness. That's beautiful that she's in like a lotus flower there. Lakshmi, which a lot of us know. Prosperity, beautiful, vibrant colours there. Again, we've got Lamanja, the mermaid. Luna, fertility. I love the reflective energy in that card. Mamaquilla, number 32. Mayari, which is obviously the, co the cover of the box. Ocean Beauty. Now what I love about this one is the way her hair is like the night sky and instead of stars there are bright flowers. I just think that's so creative. Love it. And there's Selene Tranquility. Now that is a really beautiful graceful image for that one. And the last card, number 36, Yolkai Estsan, Courage. So as you can see, really beautiful images, mixture of goddesses um, and just beautiful vibrant colours, I think, that would really uplift you, wouldn't they, if you just pulled a card for the day um, and a lot of inspiration as well with the, the goddesses in the deck. So now that we've looked through them, I'm just going to give them a shuffle and yeah, as I thought, they shuffle really well. They slide and glide really easily. Um, yeah, they're not stuck at all. And also they're a nice size. They're a bit smaller than some decks that are, you know, a bit bigger than this. Oracle decks. I like this size. Um, so I've got quite small hands, so hopefully they work well for me. Um, okay, so I shuffled them a bit. Now I'm going to select a spread, as I said at the beginning. Now what I thought would be good is the four element spread. Because obviously you're all different elements in terms of your star signs. Um, so I just thought it's then going to be quite balanced. And as you can see, this one advises four cards, four card spread. Card one is the moon, this moon goddess is reconnecting me to my passion. Card two, this moon goddess is helping me to unlock the flow of abundance. Card three, this moon goddess is reconnecting me to the wisdom of the earth and my ancestors. And card four, to choose my desires, I call upon this moon goddess to guide me. So let's pick the four cards. So that's card one. Okay, that one wanted to come out. Let's 
So we've got the cards. And we'll just refer to the spread again. So card one, winter spirit rest. Now at the time of recording this, it is winter here in the UK, it depends where you are in the world. And it says this moon goddess is reconnecting me to my passion. And she's in the bath, relax, um, I was gonna say relaxing and resting there, and it came out as relaxing. Wow, that happens sometimes. Um, okay, relaxing in the bath, there's a candle, chilling out, doing you, taking some time out maybe. Um, so your passion could be taking time to do things you love doing. Let's just see what it says in here. Um, Winter spirit brings you the wisdom of calling your focus in. She creates the space for you to surrender deeply, to pull back from the world and really honor your space. Winter is the time of death for your new version to be birthed. An old version must die. This, cut, this part sorry, can be so hard if you are holding on to control too tightly. So let go. You are held as you let go and rest. And the mantra is, I am learning how to give myself the space for rest and retreat. Yeah, so for some of you, maybe you need to remind yourself of that at times if you've been overworking, for example. Okay, so the second card was creativity. Um, it says, and it's Ix, Chell. I really don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry. Um, this moon goddess is helping me to unlock the flow of abundance. Yeah, because she's sort of pouring out water there, healing and like the flow of energy is coming through in that card. So let's see what it says. Ah, it shows you how to pronounce it. Ishel, pronounced Ishel, is a Mayan goddess of the moon. She's an older woman with wise and loving eyes and wrinkles and is wearing a traditional Mayan brightly coloured woven skirt. Her grey wispy hair is pinned up on her head and she wears a serpent as a crown as she sits on a waning moon. In her hands she's holding a ceramic jug filled with water which she pours over your whole body to clear and cleanse you with its sacred waters from her homeland. These sacred waters flow fully and completely flushing out the next layer of resistance or pain you are holding today. Feel them flow over you, your physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, energetic and esoteric bodies. And the mantra is, I am learning how to create from a sense of play, lightness and fun. Okay, yeah, beautiful. Um, really beautiful deck, I think, that you could use um, for like a daily ritual, sort of reminding you of these different things and reading a mantra every day, for example, could be a nice little touch. So number card three, um, this moon goddess is reconnecting me to the wisdom of the earth and my ancestors. Now, obviously we got a moon for this one, but it doesn't matter. Um, the waxing moon is the phase from the new moon to the full moon. It is a time when the moon is increasing in size each day to stretch into her fullness, her brightest illumination. With this card, you're being reminded to keep going, even when you feel disillusioned that you are not getting there fast enough. You may notice that you are rushing to a goal or a particular outcome, but you are forgetting to collect all the learnings and the sp sprinkles of enlightenment that are yours to collect on your way there. The mantra is, I am learning to move with the flow of my life. 
Yeah, so she looks quite at ease there, doesn't she? Um, and the water there for the message of, of healing, going with the flow, cleansing. Okay, so the last one said, to choose my desires, I call upon this moon goddess to guide me. Um, and we got summer spirit for that one. So I guess for this one, what you could do is pick out, um, perhaps I should have thought about that <laughs> before, you could pick out um, just the goddesses from the deck to do this spread. But anyway, I'm doing this organically, as you can see, but it still works, you know, in terms of the messages that come through, I think. So, Summer Spirit, it says, Basking in the sun's radiant glow and lighting up her path, forward is the fiery spirit of summer. As the rays of sunshine flow down, they are charging the earth and inspiring the growth phase of nature. Look closer at what you want, get clear on your desires, follow your joy, feel the way your body fills up with bubbles and aliveness when you choose what you want. Follow that path with a new sense of possibilities. And the mantra is, I'm learning to follow the path of my joy with vigour and passion. So again, still very uplifting, positive messages um, that come through anyway with the spread. It doesn't have to obviously just be the moon goddesses, but um, I can see for that one how you could do that. You could pick them out potentially um, but really lovely I really enjoyed doing that I hope you've enjoyed that little spread that I did there at the end for you all so it gives you an idea of how the cards work um, I hope you like the deck I think they're beautiful I'll be featuring them on my channel um, later down the line so keep your eyes peeled which cards do you really like which ones stood out I mentioned a few of my favorites I'd be interested to hear from you do you think you'll be getting the deck yourself? Let us know. Um, I believe it's been released in Australia already at the time of recording this, obviously. I think in the UK it could be February 2024, but um, I could be wrong in terms of where it's available out there to purchase. So I really hope you've enjoyed this, as I said. Um, enjoy the deck if you do purchase it yourself. I know I'm going to enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Sending lots of love to you all.